Jennifer. Why do I have to clap every time? What's up peeps? It's Jennifer. I didn't clap this time. Why can I not do this intro? Today I'm gonna be showing you guys some DIYs, life hacks, and easy recipes using potatoes because I am a potato! I'm a couch potato, I'm a bed potato, I'm a YouTube potato, I'm just a life potato. So I thought to myself, why do I have a pillow? I thought to myself, why don't I just utilize this amazing food for a bunch of purposes? Comment down below if you're a potato also. Guys, I apologize for that. Actually, no, I'm not gonna apologize for being weird because you know what, that's just who I am. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and you like my videos. And also, if you wanna be notified when I upload a new video because, I don't know, maybe you think my videos are cool, just hit that bell button. That'd be pretty cool. I don't know. Without further ado, let's get started. So first, we're gonna start out with the potato DIY. First, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this Urban Outfitters inspired pillow. So obviously, you're gonna need a potato and a knife, and you wanna cut in one swift motion because you want the potato to be completely flat because we're gonna make a stamp out of this. So I'm taking a Sharpie and kind of lightly sketching out just a very rough design. So I drew out an eye shape, and now I'm using my knife to kind of carve this out. Out. Basically, I'm cutting along the outside of the line that I drew and then I'm carving horizontally so that that piece kind of falls off. <laughs> Oh crap. And this was the moment that I realized that it was gonna be really hard to carve out the inside of the eye. I didn't really think this through when I was planning this. If you don't feel confident in your abilities to carve a potato, I would recommend starting out with an easier shape like a triangle. And if you guys are like the OG, like original generation DIY watchers, you guys will remember two years ago, I made this DIY like Tumblr clothes video that featured a potato stamp for like a DIY shirt. It was from a triangle stamp from a potato. So if you guys wanna watch that video for another version of this, I will link that down below. But yeah, I'm just gonna carve out all the eyelashes so you guys can see what I'm doing. It, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, this did take quite a while, but I think it turned out pretty good in the end. And the good thing about having a stamp is that you can reuse this for a bunch of different things. So what I'm gonna do is take a blank pillowcase. I dip the stamp into some black acrylic paint and then I just stamp stamped it right onto my pillowcase. And I actually found that painting the paint onto the potato stamp worked out a lot easier. I think this is pretty successful. If you try any of these DIYs or life hacks or recipes out, send me a picture to my Twitter or Instagram at Generation DIY. Let me know if you guys try these out. This next DIY is a fun one. I believe that it's called Ooblek. It is, actually it is called Ooblek. It's this really weird slime that goes from a solid to a liquid and it's really, really cool. So what you're gonna do is just chop up some potatoes into like really, really tiny pieces. And then you're just going to put them into a bowl and take some boiling hot water and pour that in. Just mix that around and let it sit for a couple of minutes and then pour that through a strainer. An easier method to do this is actually just to grate the potato because you don't have to chop it obviously. So I'm actually taking the potato shreds and squeezing out the juice. I know this is gross but you know it's it's fun. And then two layers should separate so basically you're gonna pour out the top layer because we don't want that layer. We want that white layer so I poured in more water just to get the dirty stuff out and then you're left with the white stuff and that's what you want. And if you're too lazy to do this process you can actually use corn stuff. What you would do is just put some cornstarch into a bowl and slowly add a little bit of water in. And once you mix that all together, it should be this really weird consistency that's like really hard to mix. If you mix slowly, it'll be liquid. If you mix fast, it'll be like kind of solid. So here you can see I'm like slapping it and nothing transfers to my hand. Here when I'm punching it, my hand doesn't go all the way to the bottom. It like stops halfway through because it's like really solid. And you can see here when I'm scooping it up, it almost looks like solid 
right? So as long as you keep the oob like in motion, it'll be solid. But once you stop playing with it, it'll turn liquid and it's just so cool. I used to make this when I was little all the time and it just always amazed me. I definitely did not come up with this. I will link down below the video that I got it from and I just wanted to share it with you guys because I just thought it was so cool. Now we're gonna move on to the potato recipes. This might possibly be my favorite part because you know I love my food. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys two different recipes. One is a baked sliced potato and then one is like a rotato which is like the spiral thing that you're seeing on the skewer. So obviously you're gonna need some potatoes. For the baked sliced potato, you're gonna take your knife and slice your potatoes almost all the way through but it's still attached on the bottom. That makes sense. But you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna start separating the slices a little bit so that the flavors will sink in and it'll cook more easily. So I'm putting on some olive oil, a little bit of butter, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper. For the olive oil, don't overdo it because I did and it almost like burned my house down so definitely don't do that. For the spiral potato or rotato as I like to call it, I took a skewer and poked it all the way through. Now I'm gonna take my knife and cut diagonally all along the potato. This is just easier if you just watch because it's kind of hard to explain. You just want to angle your knife diagonally so that it doesn't, I don't know how to explain this, like so that it doesn't, like the spirals don't stop or, you know, you know. <laughs> Wow, I'm great at voiceovers. And then you're gonna take your fingers and just kind of separate the spirals. And I'm gonna put on all of my seasoning, oil, pepper, whatever, and then put it into the oven. So for the sliced potato, you're supposed to put it in for 40 minutes at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. And for the spiral potato, you're supposed to put it in for 25 minutes at 325 Fahrenheit. But I just put it both in at 425 degrees Fahrenheit and I just checked on them individually to see if they're cooked or not so I just had to take them out at different times but this is how they turned out I am getting so hungry right now because honestly this was so good like I cannot even describe to you it's like better than fries you guys have to try this because I feel like it's really easy to make and it looks cool and just <sighs> It's really good. And then I also added some ketchup on top and I know this kind of looks a little bit gross, but I feel like it made it taste better. I like the taste of ketchup with potatoes. On to the potato life hacks. The first thing I'm gonna show you guys is a potato under eye brightener. So I took a knife and I sliced a really thin piece of that potato and then I de-skinned it and then I'm cutting the potato into little sections that will fit underneath my eye. Basically what you're gonna do is just put this underneath your eyes. This was actually really like refreshing and cooling under my eyes. It felt surprisingly good. I thought it was gonna be kind of like weird and slimy and I feel like this would be something really cool if your eyes are really puffy in the morning. I did some research on this and people who did this like twice a week or something, they actually had really good results. And shout out to the humongous pimple in the middle of my forehead. <sighs> I love you girl, you just make my life so much better. Thanks hormones. I left that on for about like five minutes or so, took some crazy selfies. After five minutes, I took them off and here's a little before and after. You probably can't tell that much. When I first took them off, I was like, I don't really notice any difference. But then later that night, when I looked at my under eyes, I was like, this actually kind of worked. So I feel like if you did this multiple times, it definitely would work to brighten your under eyes and depuff. Also, is the potato starting to blend in with my face? Do you get it? Cause like, cause I'm also a potato. That was a bad joke. And the second life hack is with a potato and a CD. So I know that CDs are kind of like not existent anymore. Not everyone uses them anymore. But if you have any scratches on them that you want to get off, you can use a potato. This will help get rid of scratches. So that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.